Hey, what's good everyone? It's MJO 23 dan So I just came back from San Diego and I've been away for about two weeks. Uh, while I was there, I didn't do any YouTube videos, so I'm back. I'm going to start getting on this regularly. But I wanted to share with you some pickups, um, starting with number one here. This is the Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star 2, uh, released on July 28, 2015, for $75. But I had a $10 VIP Platinum reward, so that came out to $65 with sales tax 8%. Came out to $70.20. Alright, so here's the box label. So typically in Chuck's, I'm a size 9. It's a one full size down from my regular size, but in the Chuck 2, they recommend that you go down a half size and a half size up from your regular size. I know it's kind of confusing, but typically if you're a, a size 10 true in all sneakers, uh, you want to go a half size down on the Chuck 2. And that's because the Lunar Lawn insole in these Chuck 2s are going to fill them up pretty well. So let's open the box, take out what's necessary. I got the black colorway. There are also co uh, different colorways in the blue, red, white, and they also have the low top version. So in the highs, they also come with the uh, white laces. So along with the shoes, they also included this card, and it also details all of the information here with what the Chuck 2 has so you have lunar lawn cushioning you have a padded non-slip tongue and a super soft micro suede lining so I actually saw this shoe all over social media and I was super curious um, actually one of the first people that I saw that kinda highlighted the shoe was Rack you can follow him at Rack TV Shift and he actually went to the release event and um, you know got a pair for himself as well but uh, one thing that's cool about the Chuck 2 is that they totally redid the upper. So you have like this different style canvas. It's not, you know, as coarse as the old style. It's actually a really nice material, very soft. Uh, they still kept the integrity of the original Chuck Taylor. Um, the only difference is, of course, the upper, um, the Lunar Lawn insole on the inside. They also redid the patch and that black line that goes all the way around. But other than that, they pretty much kept the, the Chuck 2, a classic to what the Chucks are supposed to be. So here's a close-up of what you can expect from the lace holes. They went full metal right there with the All-Star Converse Insignia. Here's the up-close detail of the patch. Very nice. You got the toe right here. And then they also kept the bottom to that gum sole, which is, you know, traditional in the Converse Chuck. Here's branding on the bottom. And the shoe's very comfortable. So they also included you know the Lunar Lawn insole in here which of course a lot of you know that Nike does own Converse so you pull out this Lunar Lawn insole and it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a uh, memory style to where if you wear the shoe a lot it's gonna conform to your foot it's gonna memorize your foot and it's gonna be even that much more comfortable so just a uh, quick detail of the insole here And then the bottom here is, is a bit padded. It, it's kind of got that canvas feel to it. And it's supposed to uh, help you not slip too much into the shoe. They also included that uh, micro suede lining. They got the Chuck 2 right here. So this tongue right here is supposed to prevent the shoe or the tongue from slipping from one side to the other which you guys know is kind of annoying in the regular chucks so that's a great feature right there and they also included you know that lining that's very soft on the inside so but other than that the chuck 2 is worth the money 75 dollars 
If you can find one in store, I'd definitely go for it. Again, they have the black colorway, the white colorway, the red colorway, and the blue colorway. So they do have the highs and they also have the lows. One other feature that I also forgot to mention was that they made the lace tips here, the aglets, a little bit longer. So when you lace them through the shoe, it's easier to get through. Again, it's MJO23Dan. Glad to be back. I'll be sharing more videos pretty soon. Thanks, guys.